Well, <laughs> I started shearing today. And on top of all my other jobs, I managed to get through four <laughs> rows. So four are shorn, and there's 11 altogether in this uh, shed. So a few every day. <laughs> you will probably get done tomorrow. Yes. So a few every day, and I'll get through them, and I won't kill me old back. <laughs> so four is a handy number. Isn't that right, ladies? This one is desperate to get out into the green grass, but the green grass is so good and fresh and rich, it wouldn't be good for her weaning while she's weaning because at the moment, her udder is very taut and I don't want anybody to get mastitis. So she just wants to jump out over the fence, don't you? Don't you? So, um, you're not going to jump over the fence. <laughs> because she doesn't have her fleece on her, she now feels so much lighter, she can leap, she thinks, out over the fence. So, no, Ebony, you're not jumping out. And if you do, you're stuck in this area. Because it's all <laughs> locked in. So, no, you're not allowed to jump over the fence, miss. <laughs> You can see her udder is very swollen up. So after a few days, the udders will start drying off, which is very good. So they're only on a diet of hay and water at the moment, because if they have high nutrition, they will keep producing, um, their body will keep producing milk. So it's much better if they don't produce milk. Oh, sorry, it's much better if they don't have a rich diet. So they're kind of on uh, rations for the next week. And by that time, hopefully, I'll have shorn all these ladies. Isn't that right, ladies? See, they're a lot quieter than they were yesterday. They're not so worried about the lambs. Isn't that right, old lady? <laughs>